I get a lot of questions about how I lost so much weight. Um, people want to know how they can get started. So basically, you're thinking too much off the bat. When I lost my fucking weight, I didn't look for a trainer. I didn't do all that thinking. I didn't go on Jenny Craig. I didn't do all that shit. What I did was I basically stopped eating so much fucking food. I cut my calories down. So as far as the workout goes, we overthink that also. Until you find a trainer, go out there and start fucking walking. Put some shoes on, start running. Go to the gym, do the elliptical trainer. It's not rocket science. A lot of folks talk about overtraining. You gotta train first before you can overtrain. Sometimes you wake up in the morning time and you're sore and you feel like you're overtrained. No, you got sore fucking legs. Get out of your own head and stop overthinking it. Stay hard. Okay, fun question from, uh, from Mar uh, Mary Ellen Roy who says, uh, what do you say to those of us that just love pizza and beer? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Fucking enjoy your life, man. This isn't about, if yeah. you do not want to get better, yeah. if you are happy where you're at, yeah. I am not here to force feed you, go be David Goggins. No. That was the whole thing in the book. You're like, I'm not the hero. You're, you're the, the hero. hero. That, that was a that's killer why I had part Adam of the read book. It. Yeah. And that's why I, yep. I did like the little narrating part because if I read it, it's me being me. It's about David Goggins. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. you are the fucking hero here, man. If, if, if this book makes you think about something that you want to change, change it. If you're happy eating pizza, beer, do whatever. Go to town. Go to town, man. Yeah. yeah. If that's your happy spot, don't ever take it away. But you know I could go right to chapter 11 and talk about that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the chapter 11 part. Right. That's my last part. Somebody really wants to know what you've been drinking the whole time on the call. Looks like you had two, <laughs> two, two drinks there. Two drinks. Well, before the call, I just got done running this morning. So one drink here, which was a protein shake. And I'm really big on the essential amino acids. So I take a lot of amino acids during the day. So that's what the second drink was. You can give any detail about your diet and how you manage your diet, what you eat. So as far as managing my diet, what I eat, it, it always varies. But the biggest thing about diet for me is timing. Is I truly believe in timing. I shut it off, shut off meals by 6.30. I don't snack at all in between meals. If you eat four meals a day, five meals a day, whatever it is, do not snack in between meals. And for me, my breakfast, I'm a big believer in having a small bowl of oatmeal with protein. So basically, my, my breakfast is nothing but about 300 calories. Because once again, you wake up in the morning time, a lot of people want to go to Denny's, IHOP, or have some big ass fucking breakfast. Your metabolism has stopped. I'm a big believer in having small meals throughout the day with protein in every one of the meals very little carbohydrates unless I'm running big mileage. So that's my thing. I get up early, and, and, and the earlier you get up, so let's say you get up at five o'clock, six, you know, you know, six o'clock in the morning, you gotta eat right then. If you get up at 10 o'clock, your metabolism is already starting to slow down. So get up early, get a very small breakfast in your body, and I guarantee you by eight or nine o'clock, you'll be starving. And as long as you're starving, you know you're doing something right. What's your nutrition uh, plan? It varies with my mileage. Mm -hmm. So if I'm running 100 miles a week, that carbohydrate intake with the, with the good fats rises high. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm, I'm, my mileage is starting to go back up, but my protein intake is very important because I believe in having the good muscle, the good muscle to, to so I'm really big into protein right now. Mm -hmm. So my, my protein is real high and it, and it varies as I do things. I'm a big calorie counter. I'm, I, so let's say I go out and run 10 miles. I know 10 miles on flat ground, I'll burn about 1180 calories mm -hmm. on flat ground mm -hmm. at a 715. Do you, do you use any app or like Fitbit type? I have, I have a Garmin, but I use different kind of apps or whatever. So I have a Garmin, but I've now been training like this for years. So, it just so I have my own little science. And so all this diet stuff, it comes with knowing yourself. Right. Knowing how your body metabolizes with different stuff, what stuff works good in your gut, your GI system. Yeah. 
And so for me, I take in the calories that I lost. First thing I do, over mm -hmm. two, two meals, mm -hmm. once I get back. Mm -hmm. And then I start the protein back up again. So I try to get the carbs so back you don't in me. Care, like just the healthy carbs though, right? Healthy carbs. I mean, you're not eating junk just to no, get this calories. No, try to get the carbs back in me, and then I'm back on protein. Have you, have you experimented all the ketos, this ketogenesis? I have done a lot of research on it for how I travel. It's tough. It's, it's yeah. too tough to, yeah. to stick to that right now. Yeah, got it. So I have my own little Goggins, Goggins old diet. <laughs> I, have a, I, have, I have a Goggins old diet. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, it works good. So how did you go about losing that weight in three months? Like what, what was your training slash dieting plan at that point? Well, there wasn't much of a, of a diet pretty much. It was like pretty much don't eat. And what I did was I wake up in the morning time, I have a banana. So I knew to lose 106 pounds in less than three months, you're looking at 3,500 calories is a pound. So I was basically doing a whole bunch of math in my head. So I knew if I were to stop and be stagnant, there was no calories being burned. So my, my mind became very obsessed. So if I like, like, like right now, I couldn't have this interview. I'd have to do it while riding a bike. So to watch TV, I rode a bike. Because you know, weighing 300 pounds, you, know, you can't go out and start running because your legs hurt real bad. So for the first 50 days, I rode a bike a lot. I went to the swimming pool a lot. I did a high repetitions. So people go, you know, why don't I have like a lot of fat, like excess skin on my body? I developed a certain routine that my skin got, you know, extremely tight. So I would do 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 reps on one exercise at a time. So I would go to the gym, I would see a weight I could do for like, let's say it was like 60 pounds on the bar. I saw, so, so, so the bar's 45 and I put like maybe 10 pounds on each side and I would rep that out for like a hundred times. And I'd do a few sets of that. And that's how I would train. So I, I just basically trained all day long. So that's how I went and before I knew it, I lost the weight. So what was the reaction of the recruiter like when you walked back into the office? Or, like, I'm assuming you saw him over time. So what right. was his reaction to all seeing you lose that weight? Well, they didn't believe I was going to do it. Yeah. So I would call him up at like 11 o'clock at night just to give him details. Hey, man, I just got done running. And he was like, okay, that's great, you know? Like, I mean, I would call him all through the week at all hours of the night, all hours of the day. And he was like, okay, next thing he knew, I was 106 pounds lighter. And he was like, I can't, I can't believe what you just did. So it was a long process, you know. I'm, I'm cutting three months down into like a quick segment, but yeah, it was a long process. But when you lose 106 pounds in less than three months, you're not in the best shape of your life. You know, you're, you know, you got a lot of cardio in, but you know, you're just not in great, great shape. So my first place in the Navy was Bud's. So, you know, my first indoctrination to the real Navy was Bud.